Now you're probably looking at the lighting. You're thinking something's different here. Something strange. The lighting is off. What's up with your face, dude? Why aren't you wearing glasses? I don't know. I just felt like making a video of something that um, I wanted to do. It's kind of late at night. I didn't want to get all the lights like on and bright. And, I don't really care. I, I just wanted to make a video for you guys. Something something pretty cool. You're probably going to notice like I'm wearing the same t-shirt in the last two videos. I film everything on the same day. So it's not that I'm some kind of skanky dude. Which I do wear this shirt. This is the second day in a row I wore this shirt because I love this shirt. You know, I'm kind of lazy. Just a little bit. So, the thing I wanted to talk about is video games. Really, a lot of video games. I don't talk about video games that much and shit. I think it's time to talk about video games. And I'm actually pretty excited about it. Now, I probably won't edit this out and make it at some lavish thing i want to be completely upfront with you guys now you know what what i might as well i might as well i might as well make sure i do something on this video to you know spruce some things up like this oh shit i forgot i don't know how to edit damn what am i going to put here well, anyways fuck <laughs> so the fall is here officially i guess i guess the first day of fall was, you know, a few days ago, I reckon. And uh, with the fall comes a lot of video games. This is the season where you give all your money to all these greedy corporations like EA, Activision, and Ubisoft. And, you know, well, Ubisoft has a game coming out just next week. We got Far Cry 6 finally coming, which I am really excited about. I was going to tell you now, I'm super excited for Far I've played them all, except for number two. I tried number two back in the day. Maybe this is something I should go back and do. Is play the second game. Just let me know. Let me know. Maybe we could stream that. Maybe that's something we could try to do together. Is stream Far Cry 2. Because I've never played it. Um, outside. Or just like. I, I got the game. I have it on Steam. I probably put an hour into it. And I just got bored with it. Um, and I didn't really get into the series. Until Far Cry 3 came out. Which I played the metric shit ton of Far Cry 3, then 4, then Primal, then 5, Blood Dragon. Uh, then I went back and played Far Cry Remastered, which was pretty cool. Um, I, it was basically a remaster of the original game, which I was pretty excited about. The Far Cry games, for the most part, they're pretty solid games. Even though they kind of got there, that was kind of the same for a while, they had that same formula. You, you know what I'm talking about. Get on those towers and do that thing and clear out that thing. And yeah, that was Far Cry. And there's a lot of games that kind of took from that, which it's not a bad thing. Far Cry is not a bad thing to, it's not a bad game. I mean, really, they don't have any like overly political messages, even though Far Cry 5 was kind of. But not really. They they don't really go that deep into it. Now, I think Far Cry 6 is going to have maybe a little bit of that. But from what I can tell, it's not trying to make a huge statement on current politics. Which is great because I don't want to hear politics in my games. And that's... I try to stay away from politics because it gets people in trouble. It gets people canceled. And I don't want to get canceled. So, yeah, we're not doing that. So, on with Far Cry 6, we also have Back for Blood. Turtle Rock is back with a Left 4 Dead 3. Let's just go ahead and say it. It's Left 4 Dead 3. It, it's exactly what it is. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know what else to say about it. It's Left 4 Dead 3. Now, I think you guys will think this is funny. So, when I originally played Left 4 Dead, I never really played co-op. Now, I, I think I played co-op for Left 4 Dead, for Dead 1 and 2, maybe a handful of times. I just never did get into it. Like, I was just single player, and I let the AI do its thing. Which the AI was plenty capable of taking care of itself for the most part. And, yeah, I love the first and second Left 4 Dead. And, you know, I'm pretty excited. I don't have it pre-ordered, but it is coming on Game Pass, which is great. 
you don't have Game Pass and you have an Xbox, what the fuck's wrong with you? Get Game Pass. It's fourteen ninety nine a month, and you get um all this shit. It's it's cool, man. It's it's, it's not me shilling for Microsoft or Xbox. I have a PlayStation Five. I have a Switch. I have this Xbox Series X. I got a PC. I've got PS3 over there and a Wii U over there and a 3DS there and whew, all the games. I have so many games. I'm never going to be able to finish them. Which, yeah, I'm pretty excited for Back for Blood. It looks great. I didn't get not. I did not get to play. I did not. I did not get to play the beta, which that sucks a little bit. But from what I'm seeing, it looks great. Something's happening to the lighting. My light, <laughs> my light in here has a mind of its own. This is just my regular uh, lamp, and for some odd reason, it goes off and on. And it, the lighting's different now. I'm sorry. I apologize. This is such an unprofessional video. But anyways, I'm really excited for Back for Blood. And I'm hoping this this may be one of those games I actually may stream. Um, we may do some videos, uh, co-op stuff on it. I'm actually wanting to get into some multiplayer game. So that brings me to my next game. Well, two games. The first one comes out. Well, it comes out. I think it comes out before Battlefield 2042. And it's Call of Duty Vanguard. Now, I buy every Call of Duty that comes out, uh, mainly, and you're going to think I'm an idiot, but mainly for the single player content. I'm a big on single player stories, and for the most part, Call of Duty tends to have a decent single player campaign most of the time. Um, sure, Black Ops 3 was, what, what the fuck was even that? Um, Black Ops 4 didn't have a campaign. Um, Cold War was okay. It, it wasn't that great. But I really like World War II and Infinite Warfare and uh, Modern Warfare and uh, there going to be a single player campaign for this. Now, I got to play a little bit of the beta for Call of Duty uh, Vanguard. I, I keep on wanting to call it World War II. Now, it is buggy. It was buggy. And hopefully they get that fixed. And... Yeah, I, I had fun with it. it. It reminded me of World at War, which well, between World at War and the first Black Ops, I used to play the shit out of those games. My, I always loved the World War II Call of Duties. Those were my favorite ones. And getting back into Boots on the Ground, the World War II stuff, and there's some stuff that's kind of weird. I don't know if that's a real thing, but there, there's like a uh, RC tank. I think they're going a little bit out on here. Maybe like an alternate history, maybe. It's it's really strange. It's really strange with just the stuff in the multiplayer. Um, the graphics look okay. It looks, looks great on the Xbox Series X, which, um, you know, it should. should the, the new engine should be fine. But there was some bugs. There was definitely some bugs that needed to iron out, and I'm hoping... That Vanguard does get some patches and stuff, which I have a feeling that Vanguard might be up there with Call of Duty Ghosts in terms of people being super excited for it. I don't remember very many people being excited for Ghost, but I also don't see very many people excited for Vanguard, even after playing the beta, which is weird to me because for the most part, it was fun. Um, and I was actually doing pretty good, and I suck at multiplayer games. I used to be really good at them, but I was dominating the field. I didn't feel like, um, it, it felt good to me. Like, I, I, I usually don't like, um, you know, run and gun stuff. I, I, I tend to kind of stay in the shadows a little bit, which we'll get to our next game here in a second. But in this game, I was running and gunning, and I felt unstoppable at some points. Um, I didn't feel like any specific gun was overpowered. Now, I wanted to unlock the MP40. I did get a taste of the MP40, which is my favorite World War II gun. And that was fun. That was really cool. Uh, MP40, like I said, is probably my favorite World War II gun. But to get away from that, let's move over to Battlefield 2042. 
Now, Battlefield 5. It was a major letdown on a lot of different fronts. Uh, I barely played any of the multiplayer. I played the single player portion and it was okay. It wasn't as it was if like moving from Battlefield 1 to Battlefield 5 was like 10 steps down. Not only was the the game was weird, like politically, they was trying to make a political statement and I don't know, like it just wasn't good. It, it was felt unpolished. It felt like, you know, it felt bad and the developers didn't help or like EA, they didn't help with the thing. And one of the things they were saying why they had female soldiers with uh, robotic arms and stuff like that. They was trying to make a political statement. And one of the things they said was, if you don't like our game, don't buy it. And that happened. A lot of people didn't buy the game. It was probably one of the poorest selling of the titles, especially compared to Battlefield 1. I'm sure it sold quite a bit, but you don't tell your audience to not buy your game because they're not going to buy your fucking game. But anyways, 2042 looks interesting. Now, I am kind of pissed off that they're charging $70 for a multiplayer only game. I don't remember how many maps is coming at launch. There seems to be a lot of content and Battlefield used to be mainly just multiplayer. So this isn't new. But it's also been a while since there hasn't been a single player component. One thing I was really looking forward to was maybe let's get back to Battlefront, not Battlefront, Battlefield <laughs> Bad Company. I want to go back into that series. Even if it was a remaster of the first and second game and has all the maps and everything, that would have been incredible. But they're going back to the future. Well, not really too far in the future. It's about 20 years, give or take. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Um, there's no pandering. There's the, the actual trailers has been pretty good. And it actually looked like you're playing a game, which that's something you want to be doing whenever you see a trailer for a video game. You're like, man, I want to play the game. And it looks like I want to play the game. And I'm probably going to play the game. I lie. I've got pre-ordered. I'm pretty excited for it. I normally say don't pre-order games. But I had a point where I like to have the option to download my games before they come out. That way, at midnight, I can start playing the game. It's already installed. All the updates are done. And I normally try to say, I, I usually say don't pre-order games, but if I said I didn't pre-order games, I'd be lying to you guys. And I want to be genuine. I, I, I pre-ordered games. But there's a really big amount of modes with this new game and some crazy, crazy shit like these different, like you can bring in things from different eras like World War I, World War II, Bad Company, all that shit. That looks pretty tight. Especially like the weather system in it. Kind of reminds me of Just Cause 4, which they had something similar to that. I'm sorry about my phone. I should I should have it on silent. But I'm not. <laughs> Actually. Silence. Silence. And I you know, I just took my sleep meds, so I might fall asleep while making the video. Maybe not. Maybe not. But yeah, Battlefield does look great. I'm pretty excited for that. Which gets me to another game. Actually, it's two games. Two for one. Well, it's it's two games. Pokemon, Brilliant Diamond, and Shining Pearl, or vice versa. I get them wrong. I'm excited for these games. You guys know I'm a Pokemon freak. Like me some Pokemon. I never played the original Diamond and Pearl. Never did. And this gives me a chance to go back and play these games, which I'm pretty excited about these. I got both of them pre-ordered. I also pre-ordered Pokemon Arceus, but that doesn't come out in January. We're talking about 2021 games, not stuff in 2022. Man, that'll be another video. 
but yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. This is giving me a chance to actually go through the story, um, which I'm pretty excited. Get back into you know Pokemon. I you know I played a lot of Sword and Shield. Uh, we played. We we had a whole bunch of Pokemon games that we played this year. And you guys know the channel was there for a while, leaning a lot towards Pokemon, which, yeah, that's exactly what it was. It was a lot of Pokemon stuff, Pokemon unboxings, streaming Pokemon games. And yeah, I'm, I, I'm excited to stream those games. It's going to be pretty damn exciting because, you know, I, yeah, I, I just want to play them right now. I, I wish it was here right now. Now, there's some games I do want to, well, there's one more. Wait a minute. I almost forgot, and I shouldn't have forgot because this is one of my favorite va video game series of all time. Like, ever. Halo Infinite. My God. I have been looking forward to a Halo Infinite for a very long time. You know when they originally shown the first footage of it? I had no problems with it. I know it looked like a early... Um, well, not even that. It looked like a, a late Xbox One game, which that's fine. As long as the gameplay was there, I was fine with it. I thought the game looked fine. A lot of people got pissed off about it, which there's a good reason for it. If you're buying a $600 console or if you're giving up and buying from scalpers, you want to have some decent graphics and stuff like that to be in your game, which Halo Infinite looks like it has improved which is the cool thing is one of the things is the multiplayer component is going to be free to play for everyone. I don't know if you, I don't think it, I think it does require you to have Xbox game pass. I think I'm not sure. Maybe I'll have to look into that. If I'm wrong, don't sue me, but Halo infinite I'm really excited to go into this story. I don't know. Like Halo five was weird to me. I liked the gameplay, the story, felt it was wrong i mean the marketing campaign was better than the actual story um that got presented to us in halo 5 um now there was some interesting things like cortana spoiler alert cortana ends up being the bad guy at the end and i don't know how they're going to carry that on something weird in the trailer um which is Again, it's spoilery, but it was in the trailer, is Cortana's been replaced, and Master Chief, I was going to call him, and Halo went after, Master Chief went after, like, took the new Cortana, I don't know if that's her name, um, yeah, I think it's voiced by the same person, um, s s very similar looking model, um, but I'm really excited for Halo Infinite. It's going to be pretty damn cool. Pretty damn excited. But sh there's a couple games left that I want to talk about. That I'm I'm going to have to hold off for a little bit. But then I will get them. I've never been a big Metroid person. Now I do have the Metroid. I, I made sure to download the Metroid Prime Trilogy on my Wii U. Whenever they came out. Because it was charging like $80 or $90 for that specific game at GameStop. And it was selling the trilogy digitally on the eShop at the time I got it for $9.99 because for one week, for some odd reason, it was one or two weeks, they were selling it for $9.99. So I nabbed it. I went ahead and got that. I haven't played them, but I've got them. I, I definitely have them, but... um. So Metroid Dread, which was weird because it said on the Nintendo Direct uh, E3 presentation, um, it came out and said Metroid 5, which I don't know if that was like a troll, because Metroid 4 is not out, um, which, you know, I'm going to give this game a shot. Definitely going to give it a shot. I, you know, I, I used to play my Wii U quite a bit. There's some games I'd like to like to get a hold of which I've, I've got I've got the games I just don't play them I, I kind of took a small break but now I'm back I started playing the Final Fantasy games over again so in the last month I completed 7, 8 now I'm working on number 12 
which I used to vividly say, say I would never play Final Fantasy XII. And here I am playing Final Fantasy XII. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Now, they did say, you know, the Zodiac Age edition changed some things, but, you know, it's, it's not a bad game. The story's pretty good. Um, voice acting through the yard style is great. It, it per- holds up pretty damn well for this age, uh, which is surprising. Like, su- super surprising, honestly. I, I don't even know. I have no clue. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I've been playing those. Uh, we get... I started a file on Diablo 2 Resurrected. Uh, I'm pretty excited to get into that. I've never played Diablo 2, so this is new to me, man. Uh, a lot of stuff's new. Uh, I've got Deathloop. I haven't even started yet. Got that on PlayStation 5. Um, so we've got a lot of gaming coming, guys. A lot of gaming. We may do some reviews. Um definitely try to anyways or at least talk about some of the games maybe kind of compile you know some reviews into one or two videos of the games we played this year and we'll see what comes out next year we'll make a video about the top 10 games that we're looking forward to in 2022 so far there's a lot of games that has not been announced but we'll get a start on this and we'll take some guesses Probably what we'll do is we'll take the top 10 that we know is coming. Then we're going to guess top 10 that we think is going. That'll be another video. So, guys, I want to thank you for spending 20-some minutes with me talking about video games. I'm pretty excited about this. Um, I want to say also thank you so much for all the awesome uh, support, all the kind words. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys are liking this content. Um, I'm going to try to spruce this video up a little bit for you guys. Um, even though I said I wasn't going to, but I am, I am. I want to try to do something different. Um, work on my editing because I definitely need to do that. Definitely do because I suck at it really bad. Um, but guys, thank you so much. Let me know what video games you are ready for, what you're waiting for. Uh, let me know what you played. What are you currently playing right now? Uh, what do you plan on playing? What do you pre-order? What, what do you got? Definitely like to know in the comments. Thank you guys very much. And I'll see you soon.